Hello, my name is Julius and welcome to IELTS Dragon. In this video, I'll answer the recent part 1 practice questions about jewelry, music, and outer space and stars. And in my upcoming video, I'll answer the other recent part 1 practice questions. So stay tuned. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Let's talk about jewelry. Do you like wearing jewelry? Yes, I do. I love to accessorize myself with uh, a necklace, an anklet, and a bracelet. Uh, wearing those pieces of jewelry boosts my self-confidence because in our culture, jewelry is a status symbol. The respect given to you depends on your overall appearance, and of course, that includes the jewelry that you wear. Well, I do like wearing jewelry, especially when I attend an important occasion. I think jewelry gives a decorative accent to the clothes that I wear. Actually, I have different types of jewelry, but my favorite is a crucifix necklace, which is a 24 karat gold. Do you buy jewelry? Well, I love buying any kind of jewelry. As I said, wearing jewelry is part of our culture, so from time to time, I buy different pieces of jewelry. Just last month, I bought a pair of antique earrings from an auction house, and I must say it was a great buy. Of course, I consider jewelry not just a piece of accessory, but also an investment. My jewelry saved me from taking loans when I unexpectedly lost my job when the pandemic broke out. I sold and pawned some of my jewelry to get by. So whenever I have some extra cash, I always make sure to buy some pieces of jewelry because they can save me when financial constraints occur. What type of jewelry do you like to buy? That's a difficult question to answer because I have almost all types of jewelry and I love buying different types of jewelry. But if I consider the number of pieces of each type of jewelry that I have, I think it's a necklace. If I'm not mistaken, I have more than a dozen of them. I enjoy buying bracelets because they're just beautiful in my opinion. Actually, I have chain bracelets, tennis bracelets, and cuff bracelets. I wear them on different occasions and for some reason, wearing them, especially a cuff bracelet, makes me feel unique and confident about myself. Have you ever sent someone jewelry as a gift? Yes, several times. I gave my mother a ball chain necklace on her 60th birthday, and I gave my father a Figaro chain necklace when he celebrated his 60th birthday as well. Aside from that, I gifted my younger sister a pair of stud earrings when she turned 18. Honestly, I haven't experienced giving someone jewelry as a gift. I don't know, I just haven't thought about it. Because most of the time, I buy either material things or experience gifts like amusement park tickets or travel tickets as a gift to someone. But anyway, I think that's a good idea. I might do that one of these days. Let's talk about music. Do you often listen to music? Of course, there's no day that I don't spend time listening to music. Music is always a part of my everyday life as it helps me kill time, especially when I'm commuting. So I always have my earphones with me whenever I go out so I can listen to music. Yes, I do. I think everybody loves listening to music often as it is therapeutic. Listening to music calms a person down, 
or takes away a person's anxiety to some extent. Personally, I love listening to music always, and I can't imagine my life without listening to music. What kind of music do you like to listen to? I'm into listening to indie music because it's not commercialized. I mean, it's not mainstream and indie artists can fully express their creativity in music. That kind of music is where I can see talent in songwriting, music production, and singing. It's completely opposite to pop music wherein artists need to adhere to what their labels are asking from them for the sole purpose of making money. Well, I listen to all types of music because, as I said, music is therapeutic. Oh my bad, except for heavy metal. I just can't bear that kind of music. With all due respect, heavy metal artists are talented. However, their music isn't my cup of tea at all. When did you start listening to that type of music? I was a college student when I started listening to indie music. I stumbled across an indie band called Of Monsters and Men. They're an Icelandic indie folk band. I fell in love with their music the first time I listened to one of their indie folk songs. Since then, I started searching for indie artists because I believe they're unique and they're able to express their creativity in songwriting without pleasing the mainstream audience. I started listening to all types of music genres when I discovered YouTube and Spotify. As you know, listening to music on these platforms gives us the freedom to choose the music genre that we like. Well, this uh, generation is incredibly amazing because we can easily enjoy listening to any type of music thanks to the internet and the people behind YouTube and Spotify. Which singer or musician would you like to see in person? Wow, there are a lot of them. But if I could only pick one, I think it'd be Aurora. She is a Norwegian singer uh, with an angelic voice whom Billie Eilish got inspiration from when she is not mainstream yet. I believe Aurora's music is incomparable and she has a poetic sense that adds uh, beauty to her music. I'm touring between Celine Dion and Rick Astley. I grew up listening to their music because my parents are big fans of their music. Their music is part of my childhood, and it's funny that I have a particular childhood memory of each of their songs. So I would love to see them both in person because uh, they're the music of my childhood. Let's talk about outer space and stars. Have you ever learned about stars in outer space? Yes, I learned about those things when I was a grader in our science class. That's when I first learned about the solar system. And you know what? This question reminds me of the time when we were so fascinated by the appearance of the universe when we watched a science movie in our class. It's a lovely memory of our innocence. Definitely, I remember I needed to learn the different planets and their characteristics by heart because I really wanted to get a perfect score in our science class. Besides, uh, I learned about how the sun and the moon affect the lives of uh, people. That was when I was an elementary school student, and I can say that it was a great subject. Is it important to study stars? I think it is so we can understand how the universe works. All of us spent a time learning about stars, outer space, planets, and more when we were elementary students. 
and uh, those broadened our understanding of the universe and our existence. All of those things remind us of how amazing the universe is and how insignificant we are. Personally, it isn't, unless one wants to become a scientist. I mean, what can studying stars do with those people who are working in the service industry? For sure, it doesn't mean anything to them, as they need practical knowledge in servicing their clients, not knowledge about stars. So, for me, that is only important if one wants to get a job that gives a value to outer space. Do you like science fiction movies? Well, I'm not a fan of that movie genre. I find it boring. In all fairness, I tried watching one of the most notable science fiction movies titled War of the Worlds when I was a high school student. However, it didn't capture my interest. I don't know. No matter how I convinced myself that it's one of the best science fiction movies, it just didn't uh, grow on me. I love science fiction movies. I find them entertaining and they make me wonder how brilliant the minds of the writer, the movie director, and the creative director in creating such a film. It must take so much creativity and uh, talent to create a science fiction film. Actually, I watched um, many sci-fis, but it's the movie The Matrix that I consider the best. What would you do if you had the opportunity to travel to space? Oh wow, I have never thought about it. I don't know, I guess I'd document my breathtaking and one-of-a-kind experience by taking photos and videos. I'd probably touch the surface of the moon or the planet Mars and feel its uh, texture. And uh, I'd raise the flag of my country like what the American astronauts uh, did many years ago. Hmm, that sounds pretty interesting. I would definitely roll on the surface of the moon or the planet Mars. I think it'd be fun. Uh, but I don't know if that's uh, possible since humans only float on the moon due to weightlessness. So, I don't know what I could do then. I can't think of anything except for that. If you needed someone to help you identify your weaknesses that stop you from achieving your target band score, just send me an email. I would love to help you. Or if you want to study on your own and you need reviewers to help you prepare strategically, then send me an email. I will send you sample reviewers and see for yourself if you need a full version of my reviewers. Anyway, I want you to watch the previous video of mine where I actually answered the recent part 1 practice questions about staying up late, t-shirts, and keys that video can definitely help you. So watch the video that appears in your screen right now because that can surely help you. If you find value in this video, just give me a like or subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting videos related to IELTS speaking. Till next time, have a lovely day. Bye.